Hello, I am the All Gaming Blog, and this is the history of Call of Duty. On this second episode, I will be taking a look at Call of Duty 2. Call of Duty 2 is a first-person shooter video game and a second installment in the critically acclaimed Call of Duty series. It was developed by Infinity Ward and published by Konami in Japan and Activision in the rest of the world. The game was released on October 25, 2005 for the PC and on November 22, 2005 as a launch game for the Xbox 360 in Europe. The game is set during World War II and the campaign mode is experienced through the perspectives of four soldiers. One in the Red Army, one in the United States Army and two in the British Army. It contains four individual campaigns split into three stories with a total of 27 missions. Activision officially announced the game on April 7, 2005 in a press release. Many features were added and changed from the original Call of Duty. The most notable change is the regenerating health similar to the original Halo trilogy of games. Additions include an icon that indicates a nearby grenade about to explode. Call of Duty 2 has a single player story mode and a multiplayer mode. The player takes on the roles of several allied protagonists in specific missions during World War II. The player can crouch and lie prone and is able to scale low walls and other obstacles. Two firearms can be carried, which can be swapped with those left on the battlefield and both fragmentation and smoke grenades can also be carried. A Gonzara sights can be used to aim more accurately. A, compa a compass on the heads-up display shows both allies and enemies and objective markers to indicate locations the players must reach. Areas to defend are enemy cannons or tanks that the player must plant explosives on to disable. Emplaced weapons such as machine guns and flak cannons are available in some locations to take out enemy forces. In addition, some missions place the player in control of a tank. The player has a set of binoculars. While this is generally ignored during infantry limited gameplay, it is vital to the long-range use of the 88mm guns, Crusader tanks and one of the missions in which the player must direct artillery fire to defend a town. It is also important for scouting to the most of the game takes place in personal, close combat situations, reducing the importance of this tactic. Should the player take severe damage, the screen will turn red and the sound of the character's heartbeat will increase in volume. This indicates the player's health is low. The player must find a way to stay out of the fire to recover before entering battle again, or else will die and restart from the last checkpoint. Health is only restored through automatic recharging when the player is not taking fire. Some attacks, such as explosions from grenades or shells, will kill the player instantly if the player is too close. Call of Duty 2 contains four individual campaigns, split into three stories. With a total of 27 missions, each story concerns a World War II soldier overcoming the odds in the war. The game also has four difficulty levels, Easy, Regular, Hardened and Veteran. The Soviet Campaign The player controls Private Vasily Kozlov of the 13th Guards Rifle Division, initially involved in the defense of Moscow from the advancing German forces. The next level involves the destruction of a German stronghold in Stalingrad during September 1942. The next objective involves battling for strongholds throughout Stalingrad throughout December 1942, including reconnecting cut telephone wires and recapturing the rail yard and train station. The final mission takes place during the final Soviet offensive in Stalingrad in January 1943, which involves the recapture and defense of sitting blocks and Stalingrad City Hall. The British Campaign The player takes control as a British soldier, Sergeant John Davis of the 7th Armored Division in North Africa, led by Captain Price. The first level has the player taking part in a sneak attack on German Africa Corps troops. Ending with the destruction of a German supply station, the next level has the player defending a town from overwhelming number of Germans. Finally, achieving victory by destroying much of the German tank force using artillery, this is followed by the second battle of El Alamein, during which the player has to fight through several trenches, machine gun nests, 88mm guns and finally taking Germans' field headquarters. The assault on El Daba to intercept the remaining Germans in Egypt and destroy several 88mm guns soon follows. Ending the first British campaign, an addendum to the second set of missions has the player taking on the role 
of a British tank commander, David Welsh. The first mission of the third campaign in Tojain, Tunisia, has the player immediately under fire, holding a house with a single machine gun and then wrecking havoc with an armored car. They soon break out and rendezvous with the second squad. The final British campaign takes place during the battle for Kain as part of Operation Overlord. The American Campaign As Corporal Bill Taylor of the 2nd Ranges bat Battalion, the player starts off by playing a part in D-Day at the assault of Point du Hoc to destroy a German art artillery battery and hold it against a massive German counteroffensive in the following mission. Soon after the player captures a nearby town and serves as a sniper against mortar crews until reinforcements arrive, the second objective is focused on Hill 400 involving the capture of Bergenstein, a disastrous charge at Hill 400's bunkers and a defense against the German counterattack with the players again performing sniper work against German mortar teams. Destroying enemy armor and generally holding the hill against the counteroffensive, all the burden by artillery and overwhelming numbers of German soldiers. The final mission is set amongst the Americans in Rhine River. Crossing into Germany, it begins as one of the few missions with the player immediately under fire, providing cover fire against the Germans until reaching the river banks and then fighting through most of the town. The final fight has the player defeat two German Tiger IS. The end credits depict the dramatic rescue of Captain Price from the Germany by a group of American soldiers. After the credits end, the words no cows were harmed in the making of this game appear, as in the original Call of Duty, this is a reference to the dead cattle visible in the Normandy missions. The multiplayer part of Call of Duty 2 features several game tabs. Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, Search and Destroy, Capture the Flag and Headquarters. The maps include Normandy, Africa and Russia. Each team can choose a variety of weapons depending on the map. Players can choose between American soldiers, Soviet soldiers and British soldiers for the Allied forces, while the Axis forces must play as German soldiers. Each PC multiplayer server can hold a maximum of 64 players, while the limit is 8 players on the Xbox 360. In the Xbox 360 version, the players can play on Xbox Live and get new map packs. There are a total of 13 official maps and three of these are remakes from the original Call of Duty. There are also three extra map packs named Bonus Pack, Skirmish Pack and Evasion Pack, adding a total of eight maps. Though a variety of weapons exist in the game, there are a few maps and no perks or killstreaks. Thank you for watching. This has been the old gaming blog with the history of Call of Duty 2. On my next episode, I will bring you the history of Call of Duty 3. Until then, take care.